Hey guys, my oldest daughter's turning 16 and I wanted to put together a fun candy tray. So I got these paper mache numbers one and six from Joanne Fabrics. They also sell them at Hobby Lobby in a larger size, but at Joanne's they were only $5.99 and they were on sale. Um, at Hobby Lobby they were $12 each um, and they were sold out of number sixes. So I went with the smaller ones, less money. And all I did was take a craft knife and I carefully cut around the edge just to lift the top up. Um, it actually went by pretty quickly. There's a piece of paper mache tape and if you can get your craft knife just within that tape area, it goes really smoothly. And I just use scissors um, to clean up the edges and cut anything that was kind of frayed. Um, but yeah, it's, it's really that simple. And then for to make it food safe, I just used baking cups. Um, super easy. So I needed to decorate the border and I have um, tons of crepe paper for many parties. And so all you have to do is scrunch up the crepe paper and sew a line right down the center. It's actually pretty relaxing. It goes by really quick and it's um, such a cute ruffle to go around the outside edge. I absolutely love this technique and can't wait to figure out more purposes for it. So then all I did was glue gunned it all the way around. Um, I decided to take the baking cups out because I didn't want them falling out. But the one tip for this part of the process is just make sure to push the ruffle down all the way to the edge. But you also want your candy tray to lay flat. So um, I like to have it on the table the whole time just to make sure I get the bottom of the ruffle even with um, the bottom of the tray. And that's it's that easy. It's super cute. And then when you get to the end, you just cut it off and uh, finish it with one drop of hot glue gun to, to close that edge and you're set. So I had some extra ruffle and I thought, you know, I'm just going to glue on um, glue it on some skewers and then I'll just put the the party skewers the picks and some other different candy dishes so I used freeze-dried candy from stubbornbass.com she will freeze dry your favorites and I filled them up in the baking cups this was our little party corner um, and it was so much fun to gather the snacks for their movie later that evening um, the freeze-dried candy was a hit. It's super fun and unique and then the rest of her favorites were spread too. So hope this was inspiring for you and have a great day.